I'm chopping up wood, Dad. Give me that axe. Just, just, just hand it over. Oh man. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a little special video for you guys planned. Um, we are testing to see what the strongest kind of wood is. So basically here we have five different types of wood. These are man-made wood, generally. So like your typical plywood. We have, I don't even know what that is, like white wood. We've got a very strong um, wood that's normally made used to make foundations. And then we've got this weird flimsy, I don't even know what it is. It's like flimsy wood that can't withstand anything. And we're going to put all of those types of wood to the test today. The items that we will be using for this episode are first a hatchet. We have an axe, so a full-on axe. And the 760 Pumpmaster Classic Air BB and Pellet Gun. That is going to be the final weapon that we will put to the test against this wood. Okay guys, so up first we have this extremely flimsy piece of wood. Place your bets down below in the comments whether you think it will even survive a hatchet. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm literally just going to drop it on it and see if it will withstand that. And then slowly I will put more pressure onto it and see how much it can stand. This is basically just dropping right here. Okay. So you can see out of focus but nothing absolutely nothing now we're gonna put a little bit more pressure into it well then as you can see here we have a clean break and yeah this this wood doesn't even advance into anything really so up next we have the rotten wood that you might have seen from our intro well you did see from our intro and we're going to see how much this can withstand from a hatchet now i'm not going to try and destroy this thing i'm not going to drop it because i know it can withstand much more than that other wood but let's just try okay it's withstanding to that but as you can see right here it's just crumbling away there's just, I could probably break this apart with my hands. But up next, we are going to try the axe, just a normal swing. And we are going to see how much that wood can withstand in the axe. Okay, so we have the axe right here. We're gonna see if this piece of rotten wood can withstand a blow from this axe. Now I understand it's not a very re reliable test because other people might be stronger than me. A lot of people are actually probably stronger than me. But we're going to see if this axe can destroy this piece of rotten wood. Here we go. There's your answer. Chopped right in half. Clean cut. Straight in half. This is just a chunk. But as you can see, the axe went straight through. No problem at all. But now that we know that the hatchet can't break through this, but the axe can, we are only going to be using the axe from now on because the rest of the wood is stronger. Let's go get that axe and let's go get the other types of wood. Okay guys, we have the axe. We have our third type of wood. This is white wood. It's actually fake. It doesn't have any natural thing in it at all. It's basically just plastic, but it looks like wood, so we're counting it as wood. So we're gonna see if the ax can do some damage to this thing. Here we go. Just as the same with the rotten wood, it split right in half. As you can see right here, there is 
yeah, it's not actual wood, if you can see right here. That's not what wood looks like. It's just fake stuff. I don't even know what it is. It's just fake wood. Up next, we have the average plywood, and then we'll be moving on to the hardwood that is normally used for foundation. Okay, guys, so now we have the typical two by four type of wood, and we are gonna be putting the ax to the test against this. I'm gonna do one swing, not as hard as I can, but I'm gonna do one swing with this ax, and if it goes through, it goes through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Place your bets down below whether you think it's gonna go through or not. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Well, it certainly didn't go through. But as you can see right here, definitely left a mark. Definitely left a big mark along the length of it. Now, we're gonna hit it once more, and if it withstands that, we're moving to the gun. Three, two, one. I am honestly not surprised that this wood withstood that. And now we're moving on to the air gun. Okay guys, we have the air gun all pumped up, ready to go, and we're gonna be shooting it right off the bat. Three, two, one, here we go. As you can see, it knocked over. Let's go check out the damage. Okay, so if you can see right here, it hit right there. Did not go through, that's something else. Did not go through. Plywood, sit up. The air gun did not go through. Okay guys, we have here the fifth and final piece of wood. This is the dark gray um, hardwood. And I'm not gonna use the air gun because I already know it's probably not gonna make it through. So we're gonna be hitting it with the ax as many times as possible. We're gonna see how many hits does it take to get through that piece of wood. Here we go, guys, are you ready? Here we go. As many times as possible. As many times as possible. Well, uh, didn't expect for that to happen. Only two hits to get through that piece of wood. Now, I did put it up between those two pieces of wood, and of course, when it goes through, it goes down, and it's air instead of a giant log. But I did that knowing that the wood was a lot harder, and it would be a lot more easy to get through. So, yeah, only two hits to get through the hardwood. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload another video. We're seeing if we can hit 100 subscribers before September, before school starts, for me at least. So, can you guys do that? Hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload another video. And I'll see you next time.